God bless you, praise God to you viewers. It's such an honor and a joy to come before you once more to bring God's word to you. My name is Joshua Samuel. Let's have a word of prayer and we'll get right into today's teaching. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this opportunity to bring God's word to the viewers today. Open our eyes, open our hearts, open our minds to what you want us to receive from your word and let it be a blessing to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, my friends, have you ever been told, if you were more like somebody else, you'd be so much better? Have you ever looked at someone like a friend and thought, if I was more like them, my life would be so much better? My friends, this is not the way we should behave. God wants us to be imitators of Him, to do what He has called us to do, and not what someone else has been called to do. I want to deal with that today. My message is being imitators of Christ and not man. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 simply says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. Why is it so important that we should be who God has called us to be? I want to share three simple points with you in today's message. Number one, God has created you to be a special and unique individual. He has equipped each and every one of us with a unique set of skills and talents and gifts that only we have and only we can use for a purpose that he has called us to. Jeremiah 29 11 says this, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Each and every one of us has a divine destiny that a God has given, a divine calling, a purpose that only we can fulfill. And we have been given skills and talents and gifts and connections for a specific reason that we may discover what that calling is and to be able to achieve it to the best of our abilities with God's help and with his guidance and with his anointing. Psalms 139 verse 14 says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. So we've been created to be special, to stand out from the crowd, not to be like everyone else and to follow what everyone else is doing. But even then, even though most of us know this as believers, we often fall into that trap of comparing ourselves with others, wanting to be like other people and to do what other people want to do. Which brings me to my second point. Comparing yourself to others is a self-destructive behavior. Because if we keep looking to be like somebody else and to do what someone else is doing, rather than what God has called us to do and what God has called us to be, we find ourselves at the end of the day living very unfulfilled, frustrated, angry lives because we're focused on living someone else's life, someone else's business, someone else's ministry, someone else's calling that doesn't belong to us. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verses 12 to 13, Paul talks about this very topic because this is not a new behavior attitude, but it's been happening since the beginning of time. And in this particular instance, the Corinthian church was dealing with comparing themselves to each other and with other churches throughout the early church. So Paul addresses this uh, behavior directly. This behavior is <clears throat> certainly not new for our generation. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul says this, Not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves. But when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding that we will not boast beyond limits, but will boast only with regard to the area of influence God has assigned to us, to reach even to you. This leads me to my third point. We are called to be imitators of Christ only. So the desire we have at times to be like somebody else, to compare ourselves to other people, should not be pointed towards somebody around us. That it should be pointed upwards towards God. As we just read at the beginning of this program, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, be imitators of Christ as loving children. Picture a child who has a father, particularly a good father, a loving father, a trustworthy father that the child looks up to. Naturally, the child is going to look up to that father, to be like him, to act like him, and to grow up to be similar like him. In the same way, as children of God, we have a father. 
Daddy Jesus. And we should be looking up to him and saying, Daddy, I want to be like you. I want to love like you. I want to serve like you. I want to be like you in each and every way. My friends, we have been called to follow after God with the unique set of skills and talents he's placed in each and every one of our lives to fulfill the divine destiny and calling that only you can fulfill. So I encourage you today to take your eyes off of the people around you that, you, that you're told to be like or that you want to be like and instead focus your gaze upwards towards your Heavenly Father and seek to be like Him and to follow Him in every way, every single day. And you'll find that your life is full of peace, fulfillment, and success. And that is the best way to live. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every one of the viewers today. I pray that after listening to this message that they will seek to be like you, Lord, that they'll take their eyes off of themselves and the people around them, Lord, that they're trying to compare themselves to, and seek to take that passion for comparison upon you, upon your word, upon your likeness, upon your presence and your spirit, that they will seek to be like you, to do what you've called them to do with the gifts you've given them. Let their focus be upon you and what you've called them to do, and help them to discover what that is, Lord. And that the victorious life of success and fulfillment and joy will only be in and through you and your will and your plan for their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Follow him in everything you do, my friends. God bless you.